Jews in the Balkans love to make music. They love jazz. They love mandolins. Not a single one of these vibrant young Jews from Bitola survives the war. All are murdered in Treblinka. And so are these rabbis. And all these young people and children. This is a story of betrayal and abandonment. This is also a story of courage and rescue. All these Bulgarian musicians are saved. So are these rabbis. And all these youngsters and children. Some 76 years ago, in a country far away from the United States called Bulgaria, my life began on the shores of the Black Sea. I had a beautiful childhood until the outbreak of World War II. I was meant to die in Treblinka on the day of my bar mitzvah. In 1943, Bulgaria rounded up 11,393 Jews and sent them on a journey of over 1,600 kilometers to the Treblinka death camp in occupied Poland. Monastir vivía cinco sinagogas y todas las sinagogas laboraban con mucha gente. Siempre estaban llenas, no solo por los días de Pesach, de Kippur, de Rosh Hashanah. Los días, todos los días de Sabá se recogían. La más grande Keila era la Keila de Aragón, el Cal de Aragón. La destruyeron los búlgaros, hicieron para hacer sarchichas de dentro. Pasó otro un tren, entonces entendimos que son judíos de cabala, de drama. ¿Qué está pasando? ¿Qué está pasando? Una persona, dice un búlgaro, están recogiendo a los judíos. This is a film about the Shoah in Bulgaria and the territories it occupied in World War II. It is a story of persecution and mass murder, and a story of the largest rescue in Holocaust history. This is a story of empty boxcars.